Welcome to Module 9, everyone. Uh, hard to believe we only have three weeks left of our quarter together for this session. This week we will be looking at the chest and rib anatomy. Uh, for this week, same exact format as we've done previously, as I'm sure you are all ready and familiar with. So, written assignment, three paragraph format. First format is telling, or first paragraph, excuse me, is explaining to me uh, the incidents of which occurred to the patient, how they were injured, um, if they have a disease or an illness, um, what brings them to you. The second paragraph is explaining to me what required routine projections you will be x-raying them for. So if you're doing a chest series, perhaps PA and lateral upright, or um, if the patient's unable to stand, what views would you do lying down, as we will be discussing in class this week. Um, if you have specific questions of what routine images to do for the body part that you'd prefer, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Send me an email, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and um, go over things with you to explain what could be a possibility for you to write your paper on. And the closing paragraph is for you to explain how you would use your critical thinking skills to assist the patient in assuming the position um, that you need them to for the projections. The uh, lab assignment for this week same format as before as well. So the workbook pages and the flashcards, again, all need to be submitted to me on one document and on time. Um, if you have any questions regarding that, please uh, reach out to me and let me know. I will go over this with everyone um, this coming week when we meet. And your quiz is due Sunday by midnight. No discussion posts anymore, just focusing on that big lab assignment and practicing in class. So be prepared to come to class and we will have time to go over some of the projections we'll be talking about or if there's projections we've talked about in previous weeks that you hadn't gotten to practice or demonstrate or see me demonstrate, we can certainly do that. So maybe keep note of that and let me know when you come to class this week and I'll see you then. Have a good one.